All right, we're back in the attic. We got no heat call. It's uh, it's about 6.30 p.m. We have single green flash, no red. Let's see what that means. So here we go. Slow flash off. So that's a pressure switch open, locked inlet, exhaust vent. All right, so it's calm for heat right now. Our inducer's not spinning. So let's see what's going on with that. Let's see if we're getting voltage. All right, so let's see if we're getting calm. C to W. Yep, receiving a call. So now we need to find our inducer. All right, so this one's this bottom one, these two bottom are neutral. It's calling for heat. I got no voltage, no voltage. So one of these is the igniter and one of these is the inducer. So I need to see if the inducer works. So I need to apply high voltage somehow. We're gonna probably have to do a temporary fix on this because I'm gonna need a circuit board. I think we might involve a relay. All right, so we need to find which wire is that so we have our hot wire for our inducer. So I'm gonna just, okay, so it's this one here. Okay, no re high resistance, so the wire is good. Now we just need to find the neutral. Okay, so here's the hackery we're doing. We wanna see if this inducer works, because if it does, I may be able to just throw in a relay or a contactor to get this going because it's going to be like negative degrees tonight. Um, so what I've done is I have my jumper wire and I'm going to just turn this on for a second um, because it'll probably this wire is probably going to melt. But um, and then I have it to high voltage. The neutral is still connected, so it should be fine. Um, and then I've disconnected it up here. So I'm just going to flip the switch real quick see if it does something. All right, so the inducer works, so let's go find a relay. All righty, so here's what we've done. We've hooked up this blue wire here to our hot side of our inducer and ran it through here, okay? And then we have another hot wire connected to our line, or high voltage line in, going to here. And then we have two low voltage wires here, one to W and one to C. So we're gonna hook that up to this contactor and that will energize our um, inducer when they call for heat. So let's get this wired up. See, so that's what it looks like. And then that's these two black wires are Y and C, or I'm sorry, W and C. And then that's high voltage on our switch side. I didn't have a relay, so that's why I'm doing a contactor. And then I'll go ahead and screw it into here just so it doesn't bounce around. And then we'll clean up these wires. All right, inducer's kicked on. Hopefully that closed our pressure switch. Oh, the igniter relay might be bad too. Oh no. That whole relay is dead. That sucks. Okay, well, we tried. Okay, so it looks like we still have a pressure switch error code. Let me just double check here. Some flashing green, no red. Mm, yeah, still pressure switch, so let's see if this thing's closing. According to this, our pressure switch is closed. Um, if, it's, if it was open, we'd have uh, 24 volts. I'm going to go ahead and pull the wires off and just verify. Okay, so pressure switch is definitely closing. Uh, we got to find out why. There might be some more stuff going on with this board than we originally thought. That's too bad. Okay, so we got the purple wire here. That goes straight to the inducer. Okay, we got continuity, no crazy resistance. Next one, uh, obviously it's closed. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this. Um, all right, and then this one bounces off of that. That high pre or the high limit. And unplug that and plug this into the high limit. Which I think it's one of these blue wires. Yep. No high resistance. Okay, that's good. Mm, that's good. I think it 
it's this one. Yeah. So yeah, we have continuity everywhere. Yeah. So our wires are good, so we got a shot board. The low voltage and the high voltage is shot. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping we were gonna be able to get this to work for him tonight. Because right now it's it's 11 degrees right now and it's supposed to get colder. Oh man, this sucks. All right, well, let's go ahead and take that contactor out and restore everything and then uh, we'll get out of here and we'll have to order a new board. All right, so it's been, I think about a week, but uh, we got our new board, so we're gonna go ahead and change it out. So make note of where all the wires go, kill the power, and then we will uh, get at it. So we'll go ahead and remove our thermostat wires. And then always make note, because sometimes they don't use the right color codes. Make note of your fan setting. So black is cool, red is heat, and yellow is on park. And these are all neutrals. Collector. Okay, so to get the board off because it's using those plastic standoffs, we need a needle nose plier. What we want to do is we want to pinch these and then pop it off. Pinch, pop. Pinch. it if we need to to be able to pitch properly. There we go. It's coming right off. Yeah, so no physical damage that I can see. Alright, so we can put our new board in there. Just like that. A nice push. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna plug everything back in the way it was. All right, make sure we got all our wires hooked up. No stragglers, yep, we're good. So let's go ahead and power this up and see what happens. And then we're also gonna check the uh, air conditioning to make sure that works. Powering up. Okay, let's see how the surge is moving through the pipes. Cool. Okay, so air conditioning is good. So we're gonna go ahead and jump R to W and make sure that that works. All right, and just are spinning. No air codes as of yet. And we should be getting igniter pretty soon. Yep, that igniter. Yeah, so it looks like that board was just completely gone. Okay, got ignition. Now we just gotta make sure the blower kicks on. Alright, blower has kicked on, so we are good to go. Go ahead and grab some app draws on everything, make sure it's all good, but yeah, she's running. All right, so we're just gonna check our amps on our inducer here. It's supposed to be uh, 1.75 is max, so we're at uh, 1.57, so that's good. And go ahead and check our blower motor. So we are at 2.74, so I would say that's good. You can see that there. Yeah. And we will cycle from the from the thermostat just to make sure. And we're also gonna make sure it cycles off completely. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to him what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.